Hello guys, welcome once again. And it's been a very long time. I actually made any video. And um, part of the reason is being that in my nation you have to engage in some sort of a paramilitary kind of stuff. Alright, for a year. And that has really kept me very, very busy. You know, having to combine that with work as a software developer isn't so easy. Alright, so, but I'm back, and I'm back this time around to stay as long, as long, as long, and to provide exciting, interesting, and up-to-date videos on software development on YouTube. And um, for this series, I'm, I'm going to be introducing something that we're going to be working on, basically, alright? So, I built this particular little functionality which we are going to be implementing in this series on an application for a client which was to be used for his company to be able to, to monitor his staffs, alright? And um, what this basically is, is facial recognition. And guess what? Facial recognition with no other than Ionic 4. Just think about it. That's awesome, right? And um, we're going to be building our API with them, Laravel, maybe the latest version of Laravel, maybe 5.8, and the mobile app with Ionic 4 for facial recognition. And this time around, we're going to make it a little bit cooler by, you know, creating a registration form and then the login where... We get to ask the user, you know, to place his face or take a picture of his face and then authenticate by um, the points on the face whether that is actually his face or not. And guess what? No, we're not going to be writing any models, so don't be scared. All that has been done for us by the creator of um, faceapi.js, all right? So I came in contact with that and that really saved me a whole lot of time because... I was actually thinking of writing my own models on top of TensorFlow.js and I came in contact with that. So without much um, talking, let me go straight to the application we're going to be building. So um, currently I have my mobile device connected to my computer and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my Chrome browser and um, just go to inspect elements. All right, so we're going to use, so let's go to more tools, more tools, and go down and remote devices, all right? So my device is not connected, why? Yep, all right, my device is actually connected. So now, what we are going to do now is we are going to open the application. So let me just. So now let's get to the application, all right? So I'm going to log out from this application. So because that's not our focus. So yep, you can see now, let's go to the application. And right here is the application. And let me just be sure, okay, my internet connections are good. So now let me actually enter a user detail and um, the password, all right? And now let me log in, all right? So we're going to be using the Cordova camera plugin and it actually has an Ionic um, native wrapper so that won't be so difficult. So now let me take in a picture of my face. Of course, I'm already logged in. So now when I take a picture of my face, uh, no, let me take a clearer picture. Uh, all right, now let me take a picture of my face. One, two, ready, go. Boom. Now when I click on OK, all right, it starts telling me activating facial recognition. This might take a while. All right, so this might take a while. Of course, my internet connection is not so fast right now because of where I am. So we're just going to wait a little bit. 
Uh, but I just want you to take note of something. Okay, it was pretty fast, faster than I thought. All right, so you can now see it has authenticated my face and it has actually logged me in and oh, it's supposed to load a view. I don't know why this is showing a white screen. All right, but it's supposed to load a view. All right, but whatever this is. All right, yes, here it is. Oh, I know. I, I think um, I noticed whenever I connect my USB cord to my computer and I'm trying to do Chrome debugging, it usually takes some time. So I guess that was the time. All right. So that's the um, client um, application you can see on your screen. This is actually for the staffs working for the organization. So they can go and check their tasks for the day and all that. But we're not going to be looking at any of this. All right. What we're just going to be looking at is the login and the registration with facial recognition using face api yes okay so um if we come down here you're going to notice a couple of things of course we're using laravel we're going to write in our api with laravel and json web token time on jwt package which is really wonderful and quick to use all right so you can see it returns a token and you can see there's also a property here called first login now, if the first login is actually true, it would definitely have asked him for it to take a picture of his face, but we're not going to be doing it that way. How we're going to do it is when it comes to register, it asks him for his picture. He takes a picture of his face. If he takes a regular picture that does not contain an image, we're going to tell him, hey, bro, this is not a face. Please take a picture of your face. And now if he takes a picture of his face, we'll, you know, We'll upload that image to our server and we're going to register the user. Then when he goes over to the login screen, what we simply do in the login screen is we authenticate, we check for the face coming from the DB and then the new picture he's going to be presenting to us. And then if it syncs, we're going to log him in. And um, now you can see here, the awesome thing about FaceAPI.js is it makes facial recognition so, so simple. If you have ever used OpenCV before, man, this is going to be a piece of cake. Trust me. This is going to be a piece of cake. So all it just does basically is it tells you the uh, Euclidean distance, if I'm correct. You can see this is 0 0.26. The closer it is, the more it looks like. This, all right. So the standard, um, according to Face API, is 0 0.6, but I found out that 0 0.6 is not as accurate as I want. So I actually use 0 0.4, and we're going to see how we can actually do things like that. All right. So that is it for this video. In the next video, we're going to jump straight into coding. Before I end this video, I'd like to say one thing. Please hit the thumbs up like button. Subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you.